it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plants. Today I am going to be flipping through my new Fall Tien pocket setup. So this isn't a full setup video, it's just a flip through. I Basically I was planning on doing this as a full setup, but some stuff went down and I just decided I needed to just do this as a flip through. Hopefully you guys don't mind. I am really excited to finally have this set up and get out of my summer setup in my pocket. It's, it's October, need to be there. Anyway, this is a Foxy Fix um, Lush Pocket. I'm pretty sure the color is lipstick, but I did pick this up in a mystery sale, so I am not 100% sure. It's uh, like a really nice red fall color, and it's got red stitching as well. Um, it came with red elastics, and I, since this is a Lush, um, I didn't change the ones on the inside, but I did just change the elastic on the outside to be like a beigey color. This strap, this restrap is not actually from Foxy Fix. It's, I actually think it's from North Branch um, that it came on another one that I had done a different restrap on that. So I just used that. It's kind of like a creamy wheat color. So I think that's really pretty. It actually is pretty similar to this front bow. On this front bow, speaking of which, this is from Just Javana. It was originally on a slightly longer chain, but I just shortened it up a little bit. And I just think this is so cute and so stunning. I have a matching clip for this. It's in my work planner right now, but I just love this. It's like so beautiful oh, and so fall. And her bows are so gorgeous, really high quality. Um, I had actually a difficult time taking apart and putting it back together. Um, you guys, know, if you watch my channel, you know I'm like... I dabble in the clip making myself, so I felt pretty comfortable doing that. But uh, I don't know. I think she might do them on shorter chains, too. I just forgot to order it that way. Anyway, like I said, this is a Lush, so it does have the crisscross pockets. This is, as I said, already set up, so I will just go through everything. Scribble Prints Co., the fall kit for Scribble Prints Co. is the base of this, so if I forget to say where something is from, it's probably from Scribble Prints Co., but feel free to ask me in the questions. Oops, we have a runaway leaf. Um over here. Anyway, that was just tucked in there. I can glue that down too. Um, anyway, so in my front pocket here, I have some of that Scribble Prints Co. paper and I actually just laminated it because I like a little bit of support since the Lush is quite floppy. And then I have a little um, fake washi card here that is on some of that uh, pattern paper from the kit and then these two these washies are from Scribble Prints Co. and these are from Simply Gilded. I just thought that looked really cute to have that tucked in there, um, these wa the Scribble Prints Co. washies were like just strips that came with the kit and like the sticker kit that matches this, but I thought they're so cute. Then this die cut is from Rock Your Notebook. Look how cute that is. Uh, Beth cut these for me. She's such a sweetheart. Um, they were part of her little fall like limited edition kits. Um, and like look at how dainty, like they're so dainty. The cut lines on these are amazing. So definitely stay tuned for more die cuts from there. But I just have that kind of tucked in, tucked in there. Um, and then this is a paper that I just um, got on Hobby Lobby and I just print, uh, not on Hobby Lobby, I bought it on the Silhouette store and just like printed off a little square to tuck that in there. And then this is actually a sticky note um, from the Scribble Prints Co. July Mystery, which matches this art. Um, and I actually just laminated this sticky note to turn it into kind of a large die cut. And then this is a little bow dangle car charm that uh, that Giovanna just from Just Giovanna in included as a little freebie in my last order. And I just think it's so cute. So I just stuck that in right there. I don't usually put dangles like inside the planner like this, but this lays pretty flat and this planner is like this is a wide, not not um, a compact, so I think I'm okay. So this is actually like my wallet more than a planner, but um, so I am mixing things up this time from previous settings. But anyway, so I do have two dashes in here. So on the first uh, front of the first dash, this is all stuff from the kit. And then on the back side of that, I have just the back of that double-sided paper. And then I put an adhesive pocket here and I um, have a like vinyl initial. And I actually did this brush lettering myself on Procreate and then turned it into a vinyl as I was like preparing stuff for the giveaway that I recently did. Um, so a really cool vinyl and that's on like kind of a, a pink hollow paper there. And then this is a new uh, Foxy Vicks wallet insert. I got this on on the buy sell trade group so I want to try this up it's like much slimmer than the other wallet I have but it does have like a lot less storage there's only one card pocket here and this stuff back here so I am going to try and like slim down what I've been carrying with me wallet wise and put the rest of the stuff in just like a mini card pouch I just it was getting too chunky and getting like too weird um it does have this pocket it has, has like gold hardware I think I, they call it breast but I'm really happy with that so we'll see how I get along with this you know stay tuned to me on Instagram I usually give updates on things like that there so then next on the back side of that 
dashboard. Oh, so what I did was, and then you have more scribble prints, go paper here, and then it came with a pocket in that kit, or actually it came with two pockets, but so I put one of them right here. So then I have the wallet and then a pocket on either side, so I can put like additionally cards in here um, on the two pockets as well. I find that these are pretty secure, and also if it does come loose, it's just in my diaper bag, so it's not like gonna get lost. Um, then speaking of new things, oh, and then on the back of that, I do have um, the back side of that paper. And then these are all um, die cuts from Rock Your Notebook. Look how cute they are. I just think they're so, so adorable. Then speaking of new things, this is a new to me product that I have in here um, and I'm really excited about it. So I do have an acetate that is foiled acetate from the Scribble Prince Co kit wrapped around this. And this is a super, super sparkly folder. This is the copper color. This is from Rock Your Notebook as well. It's just like a pocket folder that goes in your TN. She has all different sides. They're really cool. They're really well made. I just think it's really cool. I just thought that would be good for like receipts, papers, whatever you want to throw in there. And then um, I would have that and I'm just really excited about that. And then I just actually clipping the acetate onto the back of that pocket. I have the, um, the, the bow that came with the Scribble Prince Co kit and then wrapped around that I do have a um, a Studio Signe charm which is my kids initials and it's gold and this one is actually B6 size um, so I just wanted to make sure to pop that in there. It doesn't, the gray doesn't super match but I'm cool with it. Um, it's not like unmatchy, it's gray, it's fairly neutral. So then on to my last dash here, more paper from the kit. This is a business card from Holly Nichols and a Scribble Prince Co die cut. I just thought that looked really cute. I do have a DIY pen loop on in there with kind of like this golden brown color and I do have my white aspen gold pen gems. I need like more fall neutral colors. I don't have any so white is serving as my current MVP for fall spreads but that's fine. I just like to have a pen with me and I like for it to be a pen gem. Um, on the back of that I have another one of those journaling cards um, taped onto a the back side of that paper and then the one insert like paper insert that I have in here. This is from Rock Your Notebook. Look how gorgeous that cover is. It's like this like a uh, smoky orange. I don't know. It's so beautiful. And I do have a peach palm up on that. I don't need like a lot of clips in here. And then this is just Rhodia dark red paper. So I thought this would be perfect because like if I want to jot something down, I can jot something down. Or if I want to do some lettering, I can do some lettering. So I hadn't really been using what I had been doing. So I decided to mix it up um, and just kind of like use that. And then on the bottom here, not for like any functional purpose, but just to have a more little more bling at the bottom. I do have another dangle chip clip from Just Giovanna. And I just stuck that on the bottom so that it would hang out the bottom there. Um, and I find that those things are usually pretty sturdy, so we'll see how that gets on, but these are super well made, so I'm sure it'll be fine. And it just gives a little more bling to the bottom of my planner. Um, so on the back of that, I have um, the back of my last dashboard with some of the Scribble Prince Co paper, a little scrap of that paper I printed myself from the Silhouette store, and that journaling card is from Scribble Prince Co. Okay, so then on the back of that last dash, I have this paper from the kit. This die cut is also from the kit, and this die cut is from Planting Roses. It came as a freebie, and I just think it's so, so cute. So on my back pocket, I have just like a little scrap of paper um, with an apple die cut that I laminated from the Scribble Prince Co kit stuck on there. Another like fakey washi card with some more of those Scribble Prince Co and Simply Gilded washies plus a Simply Gilded bow stuck on the top. And then I do have a vellum pocket folder in here, as always. It wouldn't be a setup of mine without a vellum pocket folder. Um, so this is on that leaves paper that I printed myself and it just, I always use these. I put stamps, receipts, all different kinds of stuff in there, cash sometimes. Um, and then as well, I actually just stuck um, some sticky notes right onto the front of that because I just like to have a couple of sticky notes in there. I can replenish them if I run out and I just find that that's really useful to have. So I just have that slid in the back pocket, which is plenty secure. It is those crisscross pockets, which I love. Okay, so that is everything. Um, uh, let me just give you another quick 360 spin there so that you can see all oh my goodness. Um, this will get really chunky once I put my credit cards in, so I like this as like a good base thickness. Um, anyway, sorry this wasn't a full setup, although maybe you prefer it this way, so let me know in the comments below if that's true. Definitely check me out on Instagram to keep up with everything going on. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. I hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.